Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to be talking about a TV franchise called Battlestar Galactica. Now I could be wrong, it's a TV movie. The rumors about movies coming out and technically what they did with the reimagining, there were movie type things like The Plan that might be conceived as a movie, but it's created by Glenn Lawson. And unlike Gene Roddenberry, who focused on creating a amazing franchise science fiction like Star Trek, Glenn Lawson, this guy had versatility and he did so many things that it's amazing. So I'll talk a little bit first about him going through the shows. You're surprised at what he did and how beloved they are to me. It's pretty amazing. You can go back to the fugitive from 1966. It takes a thief. I know some of these from being a kid, but they weren't my favorites. But then you got the six million dollar man, Quincy. Quincy is still a go-to show. I go, I watch. Um, Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew. That was part of my childhood. Um, Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers, B.J. and the Bear, Magnum P.I., The Fall Guy. Simon and Simon, Knight Rider. I'm going to prove them because it's just that that amazing to me. Uh, he did the team Knight Rider, which I actually pretty I liked. Uh, I'll, I'll do podcast on that. I'm just um, and he's a, a he wrote books by the way, and he had some talent for music I believe. So the original Battlestar Galactica TV show came out in 1978, and then it was a sort of sequel in 1980. I remember it feeling to me like Star Wars. There was no, uh, what am I, seven, seven, eight years old, and then as it ran on reruns or whatever. I do have an understanding, I think I did back then, of Star Trek with Kirk and them being older. But this felt a little more like Star Wars, being right in the same time frame. I loved everything about the show. I had all the uh, toy guns, the little holster that came with it, the patch, the toys that came with it, the Vipers, the Cylon Raiders. They used to shoot out these little red plastic things. And it was, am- I had a more fondness for the Viper than I did the X-Wing. Although you could say the Millennium Falcon is more of a character type ship. But in the way of fighters, to me, the Vipers are uh, the best. So I grew up with it. I remember um, on my birthday or Christmas, it was a decision when I had money and I would run to City of Bargains on Avenue U, it was, am I going to get the news Transformer or Battlestar Galactica something or other? So I remember one time, I remember choosing, what was it, Sunstreaker? And another time I was like, oh, I need the, uh, they have the better looking guns with the little holster. And I, I bought that. It was like a little cowboy guns with the plastic belt type thing. Every, you know, you got to have enough Vipers and enough Raiders, that type thing. It was in that wheelhouse at the time. So I'm a huge fan of it. Looking back, does it hold up? Not as well. It has a charm to me. There's a chemistry there. There's a heart to the story that I think is done really well. But it's not going to hold up. And then there's a little confusion with the storyline and with Starbuck and things like that. But... I love it. I still love it. I've watched it again and again. There's uh, there's still a fondness for it that I look back on. And I don't think it was a flop 
type thing that kind of um, snuck through. I think it had some merit, and I think it holds up to a certain extent. But the real, the real, um, you know, high threshold for greatness, in my opinion, is Battlestar Galactica 2004. Well, let's say the series, the reimagining, what they're going to call it. We just did a pilot TV series commentary. It's just a test we did while we were watching. I said, oh, you know what, let me turn on the uh, mics and it was our first one basically but anyway there's so much good about this reimagined from 2004 on the sci-fi network it's got everything that holds up well the acting the special effects the story this is something though that I've talked about in other shows where I can understand the last episode, the ending being not for everybody. But I believe the overall story done in four seasons is the benchmark. It really hit every note. It hit everything you're supposed to, do, to hit that, to me, signifies a great show. We've got some new blood, some new actors and actresses. Who are amazing you've got great um an older presence of actors the experience and it works so well there are performances here in this series that deserve the awards they got and all the nominations they got is very critically acclaimed and i think it's a breakthrough show for its time I think it's got 19 Emmy nominations. And they did some great things in the show that they pushed into different areas. There was a time of director's commentary and the DVDs came with special things that you felt were worth it. Unlike some franchises or DVD specials, you know, they put out three versions before they put out the major one. They seem to be upfront from the beginning, giving you all the goodies. They use the social media at the time. They have webinars. They put together the plan and Razor, connections to the story. I, I like the Caprica that came afterwards, which was a kind of a prequel, but it was short-lived. You look at a show like this, and to me, it'll always be in a weird time of my life things that were going on but the bond of friendship watching it with my friend and friends at the time the anticipation every week the quality and a genre that i really really love you know you get these shows that go into the you know, the list of pretty good shows. You got Farscape, I like. They have a levity to them. They have a sometimes pulling out of the moment themes like Muppets or Creatures. And they, I love them sometimes. I, I enjoy them. But this is on another level to me. I think it might not only be the best sci-fi show ever, it could be one of the best TV series out. Although I will concede that you want to debate a show like Supernatural, right? 15 seasons, books spawning a whole thing. I love Supernatural. Now, it doesn't hold its place in my heart that Battlestar Galactica does, but how do you argue that? You know, solid quality seasons over and over. Maybe I would say, uh, you know, X Files is a better show. So it's all subjective. It's just Battlestar Galactica meant a lot to me as a child from the original TV series. Following it all through my life in a certain way, like you would um, Star Wars, 
although it didn't have the fanfare and the you know the backing in that sense i loved the video game it was battlestar galactica online it was one of the best browser pvp games ever it shut down a couple years ago my heart was broken i didn't even notice it because of things that were going on just an amazing game this show will always mean a lot to me uh, for the time of my life for the friendships i have the family it just has a unique place and on top of it it's from the childhood it has that magic feel and then it's done well so well that your mind is blown You've got actors and actresses, the chemistry, the story, the plot, the editing, the visuals, the music. It just doesn't stop with this show. I think there's a uh, level of appreciation by most everybody who gives the show a chance. Even if you stopped at episode three, you might say something like, oh, you know what? I I fucking can't take sci-fi. But no, you know, I could see, you know why people like it or you know there's something to it in that sense i put this show up there with many of the greats i would say there's a good portion of the people on the show that went on to um do amazing things i don't think as amazing as this although that's questionable with someone like edward james almost or mary mcdonald who had just always been amazing and you forget who they are in some movies and some shows there's a place for it in the best shows ever whatever list you want to make um you know top 20 shows it'll be there top 50 without a doubt for me it goes up higher it's just that special to me the little twist they did on the story you've got a world and the reimagining much different from the tv show and i think it was brilliant you know the tv show you've got these toaster looking robots that are trying to annihilate the humans their quest to find earth they have to leave the 12 colonies as planetary systems that they had colonized and there's an element of resources and getting this getting that and is a journey this does basically the same thing but it starts it off breathtaking chilling terrifying they inject just the right amount of dry humor and realism that ground you immediately the story's easy to progress with in the beginning and gets really complicated and in-depth and puzzles break apart in front of you and you have to re- adjust your thinking of what's going on on top of having all that old stuff and upping the ante they go further with robots that look human this is the beginning this was done it was done the best here as much as i love uh westworld and things like that this story this journey you go on for four seasons plus specials and web set webinars and um the many things that spawn from this it's just uh really a great ride you're just not going to be disappointed i don't think if you're interested at all there's so many great actresses actors you've got the choices for the Cylons and some of the actors and the people who come into the show steal the limelight at times. They become so, um, so attractive. So it, you get enamored by them. They had such a great way of putting things in, people, the music, the right sound cues. When it all comes together, it's just so rare. It's such a wonderful time i wish things were going better in my life at the time and it's a mixed feeling it's uh the show separated from other things coinciding with my book afterwards 
Uh, it was inspiring. Things that were going on with my fiance. But in the long run, this is something that will stay with me forever until my last days. I think when it ended, it just was just a crowning achievement to some extent. I don't know if there's that many shows I go back on and when I watch it again, things just blow me away at every at every at every step of the way and i think that happens to me with like x files or buffy when you start getting deeper into the subtleties and how things are working and even if the fucking actors hate each other what the fuck is going on behind the scenes showrunners writers you know all these things have elements that influence things and some of your shows seem to be turned upside down this, I think, handled everything so well. Battlestar Galactica in its entirety is a love of mine. I think there's going to be a spin-off type thing coming out. There's, like, rumors as of now. I don't know if there's a... Uh, like something that I'm going, okay, you know what, this is definitely going to happen. It was more in the rumor thing. But there was some talk about honoring and reimagining, but not redoing it. So I was thinking maybe it could be a sidelong story. Maybe they would do Battlestar Galactica and tell the story of the time span of the show from 2004, but from a different perspective, maybe a group or a fleet trying to catch up to Galactica and getting caught up in, you know, the space varying adventures that would happen on the show. Watch Battlestar Galactica, the reimagining of 2004, the sci-fi reboot, whatever you want to call it. It's a joy. It's high quality. It's amazing stuff all around. Everybody take care, and I'll talk to everybody next time. Be well.